could get in trouble here. Jack High flop. Both players got top pair. Elke obviously in front with Ace Jack. It's going to slow Rob down here as a half or straightening card. Not that one. think this one through. He knows that Elk is a tight player. <coughs> he knows he is capable of making a move, but he's going to call. Got himself in trouble here by calling pre-flop. Oh, my God. Finally. Rob has got lucky on the river. He's rivered the eight. Wow, There's so many times where we've been commentating over the last two days that's happened to Rob. I didn't think for one second he was going to hit an eight on the river. That was sick. Barely over mid. Pretty much, yeah. Daniel's definitely calling. Yeah, there's no way he's folding this in. Looks a little suspicious. Very suspicious. <laughs> Yon did make roughly oh, this size. Oh, wow. Wow. He's induced him in. Was it just free bet? Yeah, just a three bet. Okay. Oh, but it was like a command free bet. Well, I don't know. A little bit, a little bit ambitious from Danny R there. I like just defending with that hand. It's a pretty. I mean, you can flop a lot of different things with that hand. I think in the price as well. Um, is Jan raised forward and all that often there? He, he not, raised not queen sure. seven for that size earlier. Oh really? Um, that was like maybe an hour or two ago. But yeah, even against Whoa. queens. Oh my goodness. Three six, two pair on the flop. Wow. That is not what Jan wanted to see. That is not at all what he wanted to see. Well, if, even if Danny R just defends there, that's going to be the flop, and they're probably going to get it in. But Jan can still hit a Whoa. four. There it is. <laughs> Danny R still has four outs. So s still you can you can watch the uh, the emotional <laughs> roller coaster of of tournament poker here on Jan's face. Oh my God! Wow! <laughs> what a run out that is! Wow! That's so sick. That was incredibly sick. Louis is uh. That was a made for TV run out. What that is that? <laughs> <laughs>
any spade to make it a little interesting for him. Okay. Why not? <laughs> and if Caps again does hit a spade here, no one is eliminated. Wow. <laughs> and we continue at six-handed here at the WPT Montreal final table. And it's oh! a spade! Oh my gosh. Well, no, I think Jack is out. Emma gets Jack. Oh, Emma gets oh, Jack. Wait, Jack is I gone. Oh, yeah, she's over me. When slow oh. playing goes wrong. Wow. Wow. What a brutal situation. So Emma situation. loses just 755,000. Not even. <laughs>Okay. I'm going to shove a little bit more. So <coughs> with Darren in the big blind, if I'm Sam, I probably am shoving all the way up to 15 big blinds. Um, most people, I'm, most people's big blind, I would probably not shove. If I had 15, I would probably just minimum raise. So 15 is the cutoff, right? With Mostly? Darren, yeah. Okay. If it's, if it's, <laughs> yeah, if your big blind is super tough. There. If your big blind is less the tough, then I would minimum raise all the way down to, I mean, even... 11. Okay. Is that pretty much in any spot or three-handed? Does oh, it matter? Go. There we go, guys. Sam no, yeah, that's, any, that's anywhere. Clubs, all right, Sam's all in with two tens. Darren calls Darren for two queens. queens. The queen of spades, queen of diamonds. Just a bit cooler here. At risk. How do your Good cards run? Flop. He looks pretty confident there. He does. <laughs> flop is a tray. Oh! oh. <laughs> tray of diamonds, ten of diamonds, king of clubs. No emotion. I'd be jumping up and down. That little, that little hint of a... Uh, there's a small oh flame. For the sweat. Uh -oh. <laughs> this cat picked up a lot of outs. <laughs> to the river. Another oh, wow. That's the most emotion he shows right there. Wow. And that puts uh, all three players. About equal. Pretty close, yeah. It's <laughs>Gary shoves, blind versus blind, and well, Charles is the short stack here. He's gone. Yeah, he's called. He has called. I like it. I like it. I like it. Didn't. I, I feel like in that situation, the longer he thinks, the more likely he is to fall. So I think he, he can call quickly before he second guessed himself. But I like they called pretty fast there. So if he wins here, he's back to close to the chip leader. Yeah, yeah. He's back he, up he to 23, 24 big blinds. I think he. I feel like he's been in every hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now let's see if his ace nine holds. No. Oh my life! I don't think it's going to help. How to get knocked out of <laughs> tournament with a story? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Does uh, Gary get some sort of jackpot side bet payout? He's flopped a straight flush. I mean, that's a, that's a nice feeling. That's a big spot to get it as well. Isn't it? Huge. A lot of time you hit a straight flush, you don't even get paid off, but that one was a good time for it. Charles Akadiri is unlucky to go out with the best hand. He battled with a short stack for most of the final table.